Hey guys, welcome to Pepper Geek. In this video, we're talking all about freezing your peppers. So, can you freeze jalapenos? Can you freeze your bell peppers? Can you freeze your peppers? Well, to put it simply, yes, you can. It's one of the easiest ways to preserve your peppers for the long term. It's really simple and quick, uh, and you can figure out what you want to do with your peppers later on. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what we do, how we freeze our peppers every year, and I'm gonna cover some of the common questions we get asked about freezing peppers. So let's get started. But first, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you around the Pepper Geek family. It's a fun place all about growing peppers and using them in the kitchen and hot sauces and things like that. So thank you for subscribing. So what supplies are you gonna need? Well, first you're gonna need freezer bags. Uh, these are a little bit different than normal plastic baggies. They're a little bit thicker walls and they have a better seal to keep out the uh, air from your freezer. And that's what causes freezer burn. So you're gonna wanna make sure to get some freezer bags. These say right here, freezer quart bags. We also found that these reusable silicone bags work really well in the freezer. Uh, they prevent freezer burn probably better than uh, plastic freezer baggies. So consider getting these. We'll leave a link down below if you're interested. And if you're really serious about long-term freezing, you might wanna consider a vacuum sealer. We don't have a vacuum sealer, but we've heard that they are pretty much the best of the best for long-term freezer storage. So other than your bags, you're just gonna need a knife and a cutting board. So now getting to the method, how do you freeze your peppers? Um, do you freeze them whole? Do you cut them up first? Well, it depends on the size of the pepper. Most of the peppers we grow are relatively small, like this peach ghost pepper. Um, you can see it's pretty small and we freeze these whole. Uh, we just remove the stems and we just throw them in the bag and freeze them whole. But if you're growing you know, bigger peppers like this poblano or a bell pepper or things like that, you're gonna wanna cut them up first just to save room in your bags. These contain a lot of air and seeds, things that you probably don't need uh, for the future. So first make sure that you've cleaned your peppers and dried them off. Make sure you've dried off all the water. You don't wanna go putting water into the bag because that's just gonna freeze as well. So these are nice and clean. We're gonna remove the stems from the small peppers and put them in the bag. And then we're gonna slice up this poblano and put it in the bag as well. So most of the stems just pop right off like that. And then we just get rid of the stem. And we remove the stems just to save space. If you plan on making jalapeno poppers or something like that and you wanna keep the stems on for something to grab onto, feel free to leave them on. They might get a little bit soft from the freezer, but otherwise uh, there's no trouble with keeping them in place. Okay, so most of our peppers are in the bag. We're just gonna cut up this poblano. We're gonna remove the seeds and just slice it into whatever shape you want, really. You can use um, circles like this, or I prefer to just go and make sort of French fry shape. All right, so now you can see that's relatively smaller than the pepper, maybe not right now, but we'll be able to squeeze it down and get more of the air out once it's in the bag. Now some people flash freeze their peppers after they've been cut, uh, just, just on a tray, very briefly, you get them cold and then you put them into the bag, that can prevent them from sticking together. So with all your peppers in your freezer bags, you just wanna squeeze out as much air as possible, like this, so all of the air is out and now you can see it's nice, and compact and ready to go in the freezer. So how long can I expect these peppers to last in the freezer? If you do this properly, as we've done right here, you can expect these to last at least a year, uh, but you'll probably wanna use them before then. Freezer burn does have a way of getting into even freezer bags and it can start to play with the flavor. It's kinda of like when you leave an ice cube in the freezer for way too long and it tastes funny, makes your water taste bad that might end up happening after a long time, but know that these will last a while. Another question we get asked is, will the spice level change on the peppers? And the answer is simply no. The spice level will not go away. The capsaicin in the peppers, if you're growing hot peppers, will remain intact in the freezer for the long term. So this means it's a really great method for preserving if you plan to make hot sauce in the future, and that's exactly what we do with most of our frozen peppers. We pull them out, thaw them, and make hot sauce. Another question is, will the flavor change of the peppers? And in the short term, no, not really. The flavor doesn't change from freezing the peppers, but if you let them go again for too long and the freezer starts to have its effect, it can have that sort of funky freezer flavor. 
Another more specific question that we get is, can I make jalapeno poppers from previously frozen jalapenos? And the answer is yes. We've never done this, but we've heard from some of our readers over at Pepper Geek that it doesn't really affect the, the, the flavor at all. But one concern I might have is the texture. Um, freezing peppers tends to decrease their crispness, but so does baking peppers. So when you bake jalapeno poppers, they become very flimsy anyway. So I would say, yes, give it a shot. I don't think it would really change the overall presentation of jalapeno poppers. And finally, what other preservation methods can I use? Well, we have a lot of great information over at peppergeek.com about how to make hot sauce, how to make pickled peppers, how to cook your peppers directly from the garden. A lot of awesome stuff over there. So head over to Pepper Geek and check out all of our recipes and our preservation methods there. And if you like this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel for more in the future. We have lots of great content coming all about growing peppers and hot sauces and things like that. So I hope you'll subscribe and thank you.